Hi, I'm Alison Hargreaves from guidesforbrides.co.uk. We've had a lot of emails about show rounds this week, and while our information page sets out the current regulations as we understand them, I thought it would be helpful to set out my own thoughts on the current situation, as there's a lot of confusion causing venues a lot of stress. Can I ask that if you're sharing this video, and please do feel free to, that you share it in its entirety as it's really important for me to make it clear that I'm expressing my own thoughts and opinions and as ever, that businesses should read all relevant government guidance. So the initial roadmap for England set out on the 22nd of February indicated that venue show rounds could recommence on the 12th of April. And at that time, there actually seemed to be a good argument for bringing that forward to the 29th of March, the point at which business site visits are permitted in order to plan business events. However, the Department of Culture, Media and Sport pulled the rug from under venues' feet again by advising that until venues open, which for most is at step three, around 17th of May, show rounds can't take place. Kate Nichols of UK Hospitality followed that up with a tweet last weekend confirming venue show rounds can't take place until venues are open for leisure visits. We've heard that the government has, somewhat confusingly perhaps, clarified that venues can open unless they're closed. Venues have been left in a position where what they're being told is different from what they're hearing will be taking place around them, especially from the 12th of April. And there seems several reasons for that. Firstly, while there's no longer a requirement for couples to stay at home and they can see that property show rounds are allowed, they assume venue show rounds are allowed too. When non-essential retail reopens on the 12th of April, there's a further assumption that venues would be able to sell their services to their customers face-to-face -to -face too. There are several questions that remain unanswered still, and it's perhaps to venues' benefit that they remain unanswered. Can couples visit the grounds of a venue? Could couples be shown around the ceremony room if that's open? And if so, is that only on the specific day that the room is open for a wedding? Some venues have spoken to their EHO, who've confirmed that they can open for show rounds even now. And one has even been told the same by their MP. Neither have the power to change the laws on what is and isn't open, but it demonstrates how confused everyone is. Added to all that, wedding media, including ourselves, have created a hype to ensure that there's a strong pipeline for a fast recovery. And that's included ensuring couples understand that they need to book fast. So no wonder they're all wanting to be first through your doors and are putting pressure on you to open. Suppliers are adding to that pressure. Until couples can confirm their venue, many are anxious about confirming suppliers. The entire wedding economy seems to revolve around show rounds being allowed. What we know for sure from speaking to so many of our clients is that you want the opportunity to open for viewings in step two, but you don't want to break the law. You also want there to be parity that if any venues open in a particular area, that they should all be able to. So perhaps it's a good time to remind ourselves that we're all in this together and it's good to help each other where we can. Just as with many difficult decisions over the last year, from postponement policies to CMA guidance and now to reopening regulations, we can present the facts as we understand them, but ultimately, it needs to be you as a business owner making decisions on the policies that your venue adopts, just as you do in so many other areas. Clearly, video show rounds remain the safest option, but for those anxious to open your doors for face-to-face -face show rounds, perhaps get in touch with other venues in your area if you haven't already. They probably have the same concerns as you. Speak to your environmental health officer and remember that the more careful we are over reopening, the more likely we are to get to the full and unrestricted opening we're all hoping for from the 21st of June.